Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial and in today's tutorial we'll be doing this beautiful little piece it's called the Solid Granny Square. Um, it is used by um, starting with the chains and then you slip stitch and then you do your double crochets and your chain stitches in the corners so it's really quite basic. Um, if you are new to crochet you might find a little bit difficult towards the corners okay just remembering where to find that first stitch if you're an intermediate you're going to fly through this if you are a professional um hmm, what can i suggest let's do it blindfolded just for fun <laughs> i'm sorry i'm getting a bit silly now here we go this is the threads we used uh leftover threads from bendigo woolen mills um, over the next week or so, I'll be doing some tutorials trying to use the rest of those threads. Now, today will be obviously this one here. The next one will be the Crochet Granny Rectangle. Well, that might be the second one. But the very, very next tutorial will be this one here. Oh, I'm rather proud of this. It's called Crochet Granny Circle or um, Mandela, if that's what you want to call it. So how pretty is this? I've used the same threads as this. A different colour combination, of course. But um, it gives it a completely different look, okay? Just staring at it, you think you've used different threads when really you haven't. It's just different designs, obviously. So if you want to do this mandala, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and hit the little bell button so you can receive tutorials because it'll be our very next tutorial we're doing. But for today, we are going to do this little guy. Now, uh, things you'll need to know... Um, I think I said it before, um, chains, slip stitch, double crochet, that's about it. You will need to use um, the same hook as your thread. Try and use the exact same hook as your thread when doing the mandala, uh, mandala, when doing the um, solid square because you want it to look a little bit more solid. Mine's a little bit more, you know, gappy because I used the, the next size up. But that's okay, it still looks great. Uh, also, towards the end of the tutorial, yours truly says, ciao for now, don't go away, because I forgot to weave in those ends. And I get back on and weave in a couple of ends to show you how they're done, turned it back around the front, and then said ciao for now the second time. So, um, if you want to see the weaving in of the ends, stick around and hear the second ciao for now, and you're done. Alright, so guess what? I think we should get started. Let's go. Alright. For today's thread, we are going to use that exactly thread. It's a cotton uh, by Bendigo Willow Mills. As you can see, it has been <laughs> used. Um, I've done quite a few tutorials with this colour and the ghost and the light blue. As you can see how small they are and the navy blue and your medium blue or sky blue. And of course, my favourite colour, the reds. I love my reds, as you all probably do know. Um, I think we'll start with the light blue. Okay. Now, the stitches you'll need to know are um, double crochet and chain and slip stitch. And, of course, the first one you'll need to know is how to do a slip knot, which is basic. If you're not aware of these stitches and you want to have a bit of a practice, I do have tutorials here. Go and check them out and have a practice and come back to us. If not, I'll try and keep it, you know, as slow paced as I can and yet fast enough for us to move on to our next stitch. So we're going to start off with a quick slip knot. So it's tail end, yarn over your finger once and over your finger twice. Hold it there, pop your thread halfway over and pop your other thread all the way over. Now give that a tug and there you go. Now this part here, when we're chaining on our stitches, might pay to keep it a little tiny bit loose, not completely loose, but just a little bit loose so you can slip stitch into that end when we get to it. We need to chain up four. So it's yarn over hook, pull a loop through. That's one chain. Yarn over hook, pull through two. Yarn over hook, pull through three. Yarn over hook, pull through four. Okay, so now we slip stitch into that very first stitch that you made. Oh, I might put it through both the loops. I like to put it through both. Both those loops right there. Pull that loop through. Hold on to it there. 
and just pull it through. It's a little bit fiddly to begin with, but once you get the hole started, you'll be okay. Or the chain space started, I should say. So we're going to chain up three. So it's one, two, three. So far it's basic, okay? Now we're going to do a double crochet in that chain space. So yarn over hook. See the chain space right there? I well, know it's a bit tricky to see, but it's there. All right. So we are going, and I'm going to crochet over my thread. You don't need to over that loose thread. So yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through two. Yarn over hook, pull through the last two. Okay. And for now, we are going to chain two. That's going to start our first corner. One, two. All right. Now. We are going to do normal double crochets in the circle again, or chain space again. We're going to do three double crochets. So pull your loop through like you were before, through two, through two. All right, oops, I've lost my thread is not working because it's done what it's called yarn vomit. Okay, yarn vomit is when a whole lot of mess comes out all at once. Okay, so we've done one double crochet and two double crochets then yarn over hook put it through your chain space yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through two and yarn over hook pull through the last two that's three double crochets now you're going to chain two one two all right and guess what i'm going to put another three double crochets in there so yarn over hook pop it through your chain space yarn over hook pull up a loop Yarn of a hook, pull through two. Yarn of a hook, pull through the last two. Okay, so do that again. Ugh, my yarn is messing up on me. Sorry. Do that again two more times. So one, two. Okay. All right. So we've got one corner, two corners. Now we're going to do our third corner, one, two, and you're going to put three double crochets in there again, one, two, and three. Oh, I think so. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> I might have over-calculated here, sorry. We'll find out if I have or not. Just pull up the loop there. And you've got two double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Ah, no, we did it perfect. Chain two, one, two. Now remember these first two we started off with before? We're, we would normally put the three double crochets there, but because we've already got those three chain spaces, that's classified as one double crochet. We've got another double crochet there, so we just need to put one more in there. So you put a double crochet in there. Okay, and to close up our square, we are going to, I'll just bring that down there, we are going to slip stitch to that top of that third chain from hook. So not from hook, the third chain that we started off with. So there's your slip stitch in there, there. Okay, all right, so you can't see the corner properly yet, or the corners yet. You can almost see them, but you will see them in the next round, okay? And I think with this next round, um, I'll just cast off and I'll change colours. Why? Because I can. So you cast off, pull that loop through, and just pull it through there. And we're going to crochet over that and then we're going to sew over it at the end or weave in weave it in at the end all right you can weave it in now if you like but with jobs like this it's it's probably a good idea to weave it in at the end now let's pop on an orange okay so um for those of you who know me will know that i don't like to start on an end where i just finished off so i'm going to find another corner just probably around here somewhere and i am going to oh use the orange color. Why? Because I'm, I can. <laughs> I'm, I'm silly, aren't I? I do like to play with color. 
Um, you know, there's no favourite way of making the colours look bright. I just have a bit of a play and I find the one I like the best. Okay, so we've just pulled that loop through like that and we chain up three. So one, two, three. Now I'm going to crochet over that tail and I'm going to still weave it in at the end too because I'm very fussy like that. So I'm going to put another double crochet in there. Two. And then I'm going to move it over a little bit. Yep. Then I'm going to chain two. One and two. And then put two more double crochets in there. Are you with me so far? It it is basic, it's a little bit fiddly the first few rows. Once you get the first two rows done, the rest is just repetitive. That's the best part about this particular stitch. Now, remember these three double crochets from before? We need to put a double crochet in each of those stitches. So the first one goes in there. One. Now that can be tricky, that stitch. You could miss that if you don't move your, your crochet stitches over there. Okay. And then two. And then three. Okay. And this is where your solid granny look is coming. Now you're going to put two double crochets in there. Or one. And two. And then you're going to do two chains. One. Two. And then you're going to put two double crochets in there. One. Two. And then you are going to put a double crochet in each of those three stitches again. That's one, two, three. It's already starting to look, oh dearie me, motorbikes out there, sorry about that noise. It's already starting to look like a granny square. We're going to put two double crochets in there. One, two, and then you're going to chain two, one and two. You're going to put another two double crochets in that chain space. Don't worry about this thread here, you'll get to that in a minute. One and two. Okay, now you've got these three. Now remember this stitch here from before that we've pulled the loop through and everything. Now you've got to be careful where you're going to put your double crochets there. Okay, for a starters, you need to put your double crochet in that very first chain, the very first stitch right there. So that's one. And then we're going to put that middle double crochet in there. Now what that is, is you have to split that tight stitch, which is the reason why it's probably better to crochet loosely, <laughs> not like yours truly. Actually that went through quite well. So you do a normal double crochet over that blue thread. Then you put your double crochet in your next section there, or your next crochet I should say. Now two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets in that chain space. So basic so far. One, two, and two double crochets in there. One, two. Now we are going to put, you guessed it, a double crochet in each of these. So it's one, two, and three. So you get one in there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. One in there. One in there. And the last one in there. Now, when you get to here, this is what you've got so far. Okay, you are going to slip stitch into the top of that third chain. Oh, I shouldn't have brought that up, sorry. <laughs> okay, you are going to slip stitch on the top of that third chain right there. And there, 
pull the thread through, cut your yarn. This is if you want to change colour. If you don't want to change colour, just chain up three and continue on. All right? But I'm changing colour because, believe it or not, it does look pretty when you do this with your solid granny square. Mind you, a solid granny square looks good when you do it in a full piece, the one colour. So either way, it looks great. I love the solid granny squares. Now we're going to change. We're going to use what colour next? What colour shall we use? We shall use this blue right here. Okay? All right. This is your medium coloured blue. Now we're going to find a place where there's no threads hanging out. After two more rows, you'll find you won't be able to have a place where there's no threads because everything will have a thread. Find a chain space. Pop your hook in it. All right. So you're going to pull through your thread and it doesn't matter about this little orange thread because we're going to crochet over it. Now I like to put that thread over here. It just locks it in place. Kind of locks it in place when we're doing our chains. So we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And you're going to put a double crochet in there. Same space. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. And then you're going to put two double crochets in the same chain space. The best part about this row is this is the row that you're going to repeat for the rest of your rounds. So if you want to do four rounds or six rounds or five rounds or ten rounds, it'll be exactly the same as this row. So you're going to double crochet in that chain right there, right there, right there. <laughs> Tongue twisting. Oh, well, there's that thread. Pull that out the way. You don't want that. Okay. One. Two. three, four, five, and don't worry about this thread coming out, that's just one stitch there. So see that little gap in there, that little tiny space there, that's where you need to put your hook. So you've got five so far, and now you're going to put that sixth one. In that tight stitch. <laughs> okay, five, six, seven, wait a minute, no, 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 six, what have we done? Let's have a look. Let's count what I've done here. One, two, three, four, five, six, we've only done six. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So we've only done six. Messed myself up with that little tight stitching there. Sorry about that. Six. And oh, if you can get that in there too, seven. Okay, so it's seven across. That two double crochets in the chain space. Chain two, one, two. And then two double crochets in there. Okay, and then a double crochet on the top of that first stitch. Or first double crochet, I should say. Double crochet across that row. Two, three, four. five, six, seven. All right, so what I want you to do, okay, you do, I will, I will blow it up to show you, it might be easier. You do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the chain space. And then you do double crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you get to the chain space and you do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then you do seven across again. 
and then the same in there two double crochets chain two two double crochets and you need to do uh, seven across there one two three four five six seven right get to that that spot right there and I shall meet you up all right so we got to the end of that row it looks a little bit wonky at the moment but that's okay that'll sort itself out as it grows bigger uh, let's bring that up a little bit and we are on our last stitch we've done our last one right there so you should have seven double crochets along here and then we are going to slip stitch to the top of that third chain and we are going to pull the loop through both loops and then you want to cast off if you want to you don't have to once again I cast off because I like to add color to my whoops to my work okay just moving that out the way now if you are really worried that it looks a bit wonky don't worry because when you're making anything no matter what it is a granny square or a circle or whatever mandala whatever you're making you should at the end of the project wash and block everything wash it pin it down in different areas let it sit there for a couple of days come back pull it off trust me it will be as shapely as you want it to be well as you've shaped it when you pinned it down <laughs> all right so next color we are going to use this beautiful little ghost color i love this ghost color ghost color it is my favorite a bit of a knock right there i'll cut that off though okay all right now we find again we find a, a place where there's no thread it looks like there's thread everywhere now no right here yep right there we are going to do exactly what we did before whoops too high sorry about that we are going to slip stitch through which we've done already pull that little thread through there I should say ah. all right pass that over and we're going to chain up three one two three and a double crochet in the same place and then chain one two and then two double crochets in that same spot okay one two now before we did seven double crochets across let's pull that thread back now I'm not doing seven this time okay I'm going to count all along here as we're doing it so it's one two three four five whoops I don't know I've done two in the same spot my apologies five six seven eight nine all right now looking at that spot remember that little stitch you need to put it in and it goes in there really tight <laughs> nine ten and yes you guessed it oh, one in there if you can see that stitch right there eleven did I put it through the stitch no that didn't work it's right there eleven okay Right. now we're going to put two double crochets in there one two chain one and two and then two double crochets in there and then one and two let's have a look what we've got so far oops okay we have two double crochets chain two two double crochets then 11 double crochets across two double crochets chain two and then you'll do 
11 across, 2, 2, 2, 11 across, 2, 2, 2, 11 across. And when you get to that place, right there, stop and I'll meet you up. All right, so we've got to that 11th stitch right there, okay? We are going to slip stitch into the top of that, well, where is this? That third chain right there. That's the one. Slip stitch through there. Chain one, or, well, not really chain one, it's just like a, a loop pulled through. All right, so what we have thus far, okay? We have, whoops, too close. Move that out the way. We have our solid granny square. Now, the actual pattern that I have goes another two more rows. Okay, so it actually goes quite large. All right. What I might do is I might do those two rows off air later. And when I show you in the um, initial picture at the beginning or at the end of our project, you will see it in its whole entirety. Now, <sighs> With the solid granny square, you're looking at it thinking, what can I use this for? You can use it to make blankets. You can use it to make uh, table runners, um, placemats, uh, what else? Coasters. You can use it for uh, granny squares for vests. Put together a whole lot of granny squares and make a nice vest. You can use it for baby blankets. I think I mentioned blankets before. You can use this for anything. Now, this is a little bit loose because I used the size four and a half hook. If you use the correct size, which was the four, it will be a little bit more closed in. So it makes a warmer blanket for baby during winter or it makes a prettier look because it's closed up it makes it quite pretty now this is not blocked yet and still it doesn't look that bad when it's blocked it'll come up nice and straight so see how it sort of straightens up as we go along now okay so what I might do is I'll do a couple of more rows off air and at the beginning of this tutorial you will see it in its entirety okay continue on with any color that you like Enjoy your crochet, play with colour and just have a lot of fun with it. Okay, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on that little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials. Um, thanks so much for watching Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and ciao for now. Oh, and I also forgot to show you how to weave in those pesky ends so I'm going to show you quickly now even though I've already said ciao for now and all that jazz <laughs> I'm just going to show you quickly just quickly let's get a nice close-up here we will grab one of the ends we'll just grab this orange one because it's sticking out and when something sticks into your face or <laughs> right into your eyes there you can see it okay just pull your thread through and I've split the yarn haven't I Okay, let's give that a bit of a cut right there. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, just pop that through. That's better. Nothing's going to split now. All right, so see that little doodah right there? Little lump of threads right there. You are going to weave your needle in and out. Make sure you're splitting the yarn. Now, before you do this weaving in, by the way, make sure all your stitching is correct because once you start weaving in and splitting thread, that's not going to come undone, okay? That's the reason why I split the threads to stop it from coming undone wash after wash. Okay, so you pop that through and there you go. Now, you're going to do it again. Why? Because if you're anything like me, you're a stickler. <laughs> if not, then you can leave it like that it's not likely that it's going to come undone because we passed it through twice already because we crocheted over it the first time. We pass it through the second time. Make sure you can't see the needle, which means you can just pull that thread through right there. It's a little bit tougher because it splitted, splitted the yarn. It split the yarn, okay? So that's, that's that. All right, so continue on with all your other ends what I might do is show you this end here because this is the end that had that one stitch through okay so we'll do both of them so the corner ones and the one stitch so you see them both all right now it's a little tricky at this end because you don't have much room to play with now if you wanted to 
you could go in and out of the actual stitch like that which I'm not going to because I find that a little bit too thick but I'm going to go in and out of this stitch here at the back make sure you're weaving through the back and you can't see the needle in front okay so weave through pull that through there ta-da okay and I've split the yarn can you see how I've split that yarn there right there you can probably see it so we're going to go back the other way through another section there that's a little bit tight again all right let's just see the front can't see the needle no pull it through voila now we're going to cut this thread that will not come off uh, not, not come undone wash after wash i'm tongue twisted today aren't i and there you go and you can't see the end there and you can't see the end there so yeah that's how we weave in our ends now continue to weave in all those ends add a couple more rows if you like i will and you will see the finished item either at the preview the first preview when it starts the video or at the end more likely at the preview thanks so much for watching ciao for now